Here we are in the last video, the fourth video of the series about the predictions uh, from the zodiac sign for 2019. So we are going to talk about water signs. So we're going to be talking about Pisces. We're going to be talking about Cancer. And we're going to talk about Scorpio. So let's see what are your cards for this 2019 here are your cars, water signs, this is your planet, this is your sign, and this is the house. We have in here Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Let's see what they mean. So, you already see your cards about the, the things that you're going to be expecting 2019. But let's talk about the element water. Element water has to be with emotions, how we feel, how deep we're going to be having a meaning for things. It's more um, about demonstration, how we commute, like how we feel, basically. It's literally how we feel. It's about um, what kind of things are going to be important for us through our emotions. So when you have water signs, that part is going to be in chance so we have cancer that's the first of the water sign cancer oh my god they are so difficult sometimes to understand but they are so so about protecting and about giving love about home they have this chill about protecting themselves because it's difficult for them sometimes to show that love so that make them difficult sometimes to talk to them to really get to know them because they really protect themselves and for them the most important thing is about family about home so we're gonna have these cancers i love them but you know you can be difficult sometimes i have now a scorpio oh my god it's not that they hate people but they prefer the solitude they prefer their time but still they have this driving sexual thing that kind of like make them need other people right so scorpio are over protective people of the ones that they allow to get in because like i told you they don't let people that easy to get inside of them because they really really when they get attached it's difficult for them later to maybe uh when someone broke that attachment it could be really really difficult for them and we have Pisces, the last of the zodiac sign, but the most spiritual one. So we have a sign that is about looking the meaning of other things. Their emotion is about having a deep sensation of something else, like a deep kind of emotion. So they are more philosophical. They really go to the stream. We have a Scorpio that maybe have problems sometimes getting in or letting people in but then we have Pisces that they want to know everything they want to give everything they want to go do a better world they always looking for that extra meaning in things okay so let's see what planet so we have Mercury Mercury is going to be the planet that is going to be is going to be influencing all of you water signs. So what that means that you're gonna have the necessity, you're gonna be expressing your emotions, you're gonna be talking about your emotions, no matter what sign you are, you're gonna have that feeling. 2019 for you water signs are going to be about communications, about looking for something else maybe to writing down your ideas or having a book like an emotional kind of book right um it's going to be about letting people know exactly what you're thinking how you're feeling how uh, how hurt you are or how happy you are or what kind of thing have meaningful things you're gonna be a little bit more direct like you than than usual okay sweetie so you're gonna have mercury influencing and besides you're gonna be learning a lot you're gonna be trying to understand more and more about all of these emotions kind of thing it's going to really really hit you uh in the things that but you value the most then oh my god we have 
the sign that is going to be kind of um, influencing water signs? A Scorpio. And what is a Scorpio? Another water sign. So, as happened in other uh, of the element, a Scorpio. You're gonna have a little bit more extra of your driving sexuality, emotionally, thing going on. So you're gonna have that sensation of finally find that person that drives you crazy, that give you what you need in, in everything that it really matters for you. But all of the signs are going to be more active in, in, in the way that they're gonna be expressing. They're gonna be really trying to put themselves out. Some of them are going to be written kind of like okay let me step back I have maybe I need to check who is who in my life and then move forward not just that you're gonna have the power you're gonna have the energy that passion because it's could be about passion you're gonna have that passion going on in you so you're gonna be really talking your emotions in a passionately way <laughs> so just be careful be mindful okay water signs just be mindful and we have the 12th house <sighs> this is this is this is the house the 12th house what it is the 12th house the 12th house have to be with looking at, at a deeper meaning have to be with the spiritual kind of the the the, the house that have to be with the spiritual Thing about looking something else, something more bigger, a, 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 a bigger understanding, a bigger, a bigger, a bigger reason, and everything that has to be like that. And again, this is a water house. It's ruled by Pisces. So what that means that for water sign being this magnified, you are really all of you, specifically in this case for Pisces, are going to look for meaningful things. Now you are going to try just to learn. You're gonna be thinking. You're gonna be communicating about these deeper feelings, like going really inside of you. That's the way that is going to be for each one of you. The 12th house is going to be really, really magnified with each one of you. So I will tell you that have patience with yourself. Be careful in how you're gonna be saying things, okay? Don't be too rude to me because you're gonna be really like blah kind of blunt you know like kind of like the air sign that they don't sometimes they don't think what they're saying kind of that way so we have cancer this is your cards what it is for you happy moments in family the thing that you this do wanted the most Finally, you're gonna have that relationship, that stability in your home. Everything in your home, what you consider your home, is going to be really, really amazing, really, really good. But they're telling you, don't make decisions just because of your emotions. Cancer tend to be an emotional person. So most of the time, they just make decisions blindfold by the moment. Like if they're hurt, they're gonna try to hurt the person. If they're mad, they're gonna kind of have a little bit of revenge or getting even. Um, so they are saying, be careful with that. They know that you can love with all of your heart. They know that you're always gonna protect what is yours, but you have to be careful, okay? You have to be really, really uh, putting attention to whatever um, you feel. Okay, don't make decision in a hurry because everything's gonna be really, really fine and the stability that you're looking for. With communication, looking for the meaning, the deeper meaning of whatever is going on, allowing your passion guide you is going to be the key for everything good, okay? We have a Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, sweetie. We know that you sometimes can be thinking too much about the things that you want. And you can be a little bit of a dreamer, like thinking too much, like wanting too much things in your life. And when things happen unexpectedly, you tend to get freaked out or mad or reserved or stuff. I like, stop wanting things and stuff like that. But they're telling you, you know what? Everything's gonna be fine, but you will need to start communicating with people. You will need to start letting people know 
how you work, how your mind go, how you are dra your passion is driven. You will need to communicate between couples. That is going to be really, really important. You need to let your couple know, your partner know how, you know, what kind of thing you like, what kind of, like everything, like about your relationship. It's time for communication, Scorpio, okay? But everything else is going to be really, really fine. And we have Pisces. Pisces, sometimes you tend to put everything in your shoulder and you tend to take things personal because you give so much because you see the big picture of things you tend to let people get sometimes too close to you and you get a little bit personal when they hurt you and stuff like that they're saying this year is not about sacrifices it's not this year is about having the balance in between what you're giving and what you're receiving it's not that you are doing things just to because you wanted something back, but sometimes we need to have that to know that we're doing something good, that people are seeing what you are giving. So be careful with that, okay? So it is put, uh, uh, talk about how you're feeling about that giving, 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 and not receiving. Talk about it. This is the year to let people know. And they're saying, temptations are coming for you okay it's time for you to look the deeper meanings in your life that you're maybe are not having because you are getting to a stream this is about allowing our passion allowing our human side to go out sometime in a good sense okay don't do nothing crazy okay Pisces but it's about allowing yourself to indulge yourself. Talk about the pleasures of life. Talk, make plans. Go, look, learn, enjoy. Get that driving from you, like the Scorpio sign is going to be there. But generally, it's gonna be a good year. Pisces, you're gonna go, some kind of rediscovering is going to be with you, okay? So I hope that you like it. Um, I see uh, if you, again, if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, type it. And I'm gonna help you as best as I can. Thank you, sweeties.